Welcome to this Canvas video. I just want to show you real quick what a quiz is, what a quiz would look like, why you might want to use a quiz in your Canvas course. So I'm going to do this entire video showing you what things look like to a student. So you will know, you know, is this something I want my kids to experience? Is this something that would be useful to my students in Canvas? So I'm just going to show you that I've got my student goggles on here and I'm going to act like a, a student in your course. So I log in, I'm on whatever unit I'm on, I see this quiz, this quiz, I don't know why quizzes are spaceships, but we'll go with it. So I'm going to click on this quiz as a kid. It says it's a five point quiz, there's five questions. I'm going to begin this quiz. Now there are lots of different settings you can use um, to change what it looks like to kids, but here's a basic quiz. This question right here that you're seeing is a multiple choice question. Sorry, that blue thing won't pop up for the kids. I'm just going to say um, that there are different types of questions that you would make as a teacher. This is a multiple choice question. There's only one answer they can get. So I'm going to say, I think the answer is two. I'm going to move on. So I'm a student. This one right here, this is what's called a multiple answer question. They won't see this yellow thing. This is just a little notation for you. This is when you're making your questions. If it's a multiple answer question, they can answer all of the answers. They have to pick all the ones that are right. So that might be a little challenging. I'm going to move on. The student sees something like this. This is a fill, fill in the blank answer. If you're a math teacher, there's also one called a numeric question, which is probably better, but a fill in the blank, they could type in whatever they want. Um, so they have this blank to type things in. It's a basic fill in the blank question. This is beautiful. This is a matching question. Um, and so the students have to match up um, this with an answer from the drop down. So I'm going to get these two wrong because every kid would get this wrong. So there's a matching question. This one right here, this is a pretty advanced question for a teacher um, to set up. It's called a multiple drop down in Canvas, but you can have as many drop downs as you want. So I could say, I think the slope is five. I think the y intercept is five. Now, right now, as a student, I'm allowed, now I can lock this down as a teacher, but this quiz will allow them to hop around to the different questions. You can prevent that if you want to. Also, it's showing me the time, but this quiz does not have a time limit. You could set one up as a time, a limited time that would kick them out eventually if you want to. But I want you to really think about this is what a kid would see. Now that's pretty interesting what they would see when they're taking it. I think the most interesting thing is what they're gonna see when it's done. Immediately, they get this feedback. Take a look at this. I got, as a student, I got this wrong. You can program in tips for students. Like if a kid said this, it's because they did such and such wrong and you can give them feedback. So you don't have to write that on every paper. There it is. As a student, I got that one right. I got this one right. I got some of this right, but not all of it. And here, um, I got some of that one right, but not all of it as well. And I didn't program any, any feedback for the student on that one, but you could, you could put feedback for um, all sorts of things but you can put feedback on your distractor answers. You can just put feedback if they get a wrong answer. But this is really interesting, in my opinion, that students get that, that immediate feedback. Now, what else is really cool is if you leave that available to them, when they, any time they come to Canvas, let's say they're studying for their test, they can click on here. They can see their graded work. I think that's really powerful. That could help them. Okay, these are the types of questions I missed. It can help you if you have any kind of intervention day or whatever. I could also notice I did not set, show them the correct answers. If you want to do that, you can set that up as well as a teacher so they could see the right answers. Um, right now, I have it set up that they only get one attempt, but they could retake this quiz. They could look and see, okay, these are the things that I missed. They could retake it. So you could use this in all sorts of different ways, but I think it's really powerful that students with this feature get immediate feedback. They can get um, tips and tricks from you fairly easily and immediately. They could also review their work, 
retake the quiz, rework their answers. You can use this in all sorts of different ways with your students for interventions, um, for study guides, for all sorts of everything. So this is what a student will see when they're taking their quiz. Now, if this is something that you want your students to be able to use in class, the next video I'm going to make will show you how to make this happen. And I'm going to show you how what this looks like from the teacher side. So if you're interested, hang around for the next video.